and you know you want to. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, so before we jump into the foundation, I wanna go ahead and prep the skin. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. And this is actually a serum. So you can apply this before primer and this will prep the skin. But what I really think is awesome about the Skin Booster is you could use this to sheer out a full coverage foundation. So if you want like a lighter coverage, you could just add a few drops of this and it'll make it a lot more sheer. And it does come with this dropper. So it's really easy to apply it and you can add one to two drops if you want to sheer out the foundation, which is really nice. It also smells so, so good. It's really like refreshing. It reminds me kind of like a spa or something. It just smells so good. Some of the ingredients inside the Skin Booster are argan oil extract and hyaluronic acid. So if you've ever used any skincare product with hyaluronic acid, you know it's very hydrating on the skin. So this is really nice to use before makeup to prep the skin, but it's also going to smooth the appearance of fine lines and just give a really blurred effect before you apply foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a few drops of this to my fingertips. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the skin. And it does soak into the skin really nicely so it doesn't feel like sticky, it doesn't take long to dry, it actually really absorbs super quickly so we can move on to primer. As you guys know, Makeup Forever has so many primers, but these two I really recommend because you wanna make sure your skin's really hydrated underneath the matte foundation. Matte foundation looks the best when you have a really hydrated base. So both of these are really good. I'm gonna be using the Skin Equalizer Step 1 from Makeup Forever, and this is the hydrating primer. So this is for normal normal skin. So if you have like normal to dry skin, I would go with this one. But if you do have just dry skin, I would go for the nourishing one. This is going to be best for your skin type. And like I said, I feel like these two are your best option when using the matte velvet skin foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the center of my face and then work the primer outwards. So I bring this under my eyes to hydrate underneath because sometimes my foundation or concealer can look a little cakey under my eyes and this really helps because you're adding that hydration right underneath that area. This primer and the skin booster together it literally feels like heaven on my skin. It feels so good. All right, so now that our skin is super hydrated and we're prepped, we can move on to foundation. So we're gonna be using the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation for Makeup Forever today, and my shade is R230. So I do have pinkish red undertones in my skin, so that's where the R comes from. And the shade range on this foundation is really nice. There are 40 shades total in the range. And I was actually color matched at the Sephora inside JCPenney's using the Color IQ system. So if you've ever had that done before, they just hold this little device up to your skin and it takes a picture of your skin and gives you your perfect shade. And I have to say, this is really spot on to my skin. I was like, a little hesitant at first. I didn't know if it would actually work, if it was actually going to be accurate, but I definitely recommend that you guys check out the Sephora Inside JCPenney Color IQ because it is really spot on and I'll show you guys how close of a match this is to my actual complexion. A little bit about the foundation before we jump into it. So I wanted to mention this is a lightweight, oil-free formula. It's really creamy and blendable on the skin. You guys will see when I apply it. Even though it's a matte foundation, it is very, very creamy so you're able to blend it out on the skin before it kind of dries fully matte. With the matte finish, it is 24 hour long wear. So this is gonna last all day. It's not gonna move around. And it does have a flexi fit complex. So so what that means it's going to breathe and move with your skin it's not going to flake or cake or just look bad throughout the day it's actually going to move with your skin and it's gonna stay looking flawless. With a lot of matte foundations that don't have the FlexiFit Complex, they do flake and they do cake, and they don't look that, they really don't look that flattering after a long period of time, but this one is going to stay looking beautiful throughout the day. We love a foundation that we can depend on throughout the day, and I'm here for it. To apply the Matte Velvet Skin Foundation, I'm gonna be using the beautiful Makeup Forever Artisan 108 brush, and this is a really large, rounded foundation brush. You could use this with liquids or creams, you you can use it to conceal, for highlighter, anything like that, but I'm gonna be using it for foundation today. And the bristles on it are pretty dense, so you're gonna keep that coverage high using a brush like this, which I like. I also really love that the bristles are straight on the 108 brush, so it's gonna give a nice even finish as well as keeping it high coverage. So I'm excited to be sharing this brush with you guys because it is such a nice brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a bit of the foundation to the back of my hand. And then using the 108 brush, I'm gonna apply it to the center of the face. I like to go in with a matte foundation 
right on the center where I want the most coverage and then shear it out as I kind of move outwards in the face. And this match is just so spot on to my complexion. It looks so much like the actual color of my neck. So it blends perfectly and I don't have to blend this like all the way down my neck because it is such a good match. What I really like about this brush too is because it's nice and thin, you can actually like fit it into the crevices around your nose, around your mouth, under the eyes. It's just like perfect. So I'm just going in with a sponge now because the brush adds such a beautiful high coverage to the skin. I just like to go in with the damp sponge to blend a little bit further and I do add a little bit more foundation when I'm blending out. I just love the finish when you use a damp sponge with a matte foundation. I think it gives such an airbrush look. I love it. So just so you guys can see, I feel like I have zero shine on my face after using this foundation. I do feel like my pores are visibly like a lot smaller because this is a matte foundation and the formula is just so beautiful. I really can see my pores and it balanced my complexion out. So I did have a little bit of like redness going on right here on my mouth and a little bit of darkness in this area. And I feel like overall the foundation just balanced everything. I think it looks beautiful because this is a matte foundation you do have to work a little bit faster when blending it. So I definitely wanted to point that out for you guys when you're using it. I also wanted to mention because you do have to work fast, it is really nice the formula is creamy and it's blendable and it is buildable. So if you do wanna add a little bit more, it's really easy to do that. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and then we're gonna move on to eyes. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Artist 9 Shadow Palette today. This dark green, I think it is so beautiful. So we're gonna be doing a really smoky green eye today but it's gonna be super easy so if you need to do a really done look for an event or for a party or just because you want to do a really completed eye that just looks like it took a lot of time we're only gonna be using one shadow today and that is this green in here and we're just going to blow it all over the eye into the smoky fall beautiful green color so I've already primed my eyes and you want to make sure you definitely prime the eyes before you do your shadow look so it lasts all night and I'm gonna be going in with my bronzer first in the crease so you could use any bronzer that you own that you use on a day-to-day -day basis I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right into the crease of my eye this is gonna be a perfect transition for the green So now that we have our transition in place, I'm gonna go ahead and place a black liner all over the lid. And you can be messy with this. You really don't need to get it perfect. It's just gonna add as like a black base for the green shadow. You don't wanna bring it up too high though. You just wanna keep it right at the base of the lashes a little bit on the lid. And then you just wanna take a brush and just blend that out a little bit. And you can just messily kind of blend this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm gonna grab the green from the palette and I'm gonna start placing this on the lid. You just wanna grab your fluffy brush and take that color a little bit up into the crease and blend that in with the bronzer. This color is just so so beautiful i am in love with this shade it's such a pretty green and i'm just taking the same color and applying it on the lower lash line smoking that out all around the eye just using that one shade the trick that i like to do is grab some translucent powder on a small brush and just place it along the shadow, just like in a straight line like this. And if you do get a little crazy with your shadow, this really helps make everything look super clean. And once you apply this, you just wanna let it sit for probably like three to five minutes. And in the meantime, you can apply your liner and mascara while you wait for that to bake.
all right you guys so the eyes are done i really love the way this came out because the shadow is metallic it almost like looks wet which i think is really pretty and i just love this green color i'm obsessed I'm gonna go in with a pinky nude color. This is my favorite lipstick from Makeup Forever. And this is in shade C211. And I would definitely describe this as a pinky nude. It's more of like a darker pinky nude. So I think it looks really pretty with a lot of different makeup looks and especially with smoky looks. It's like your lips, but better. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. 